Hey guys, Evan here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send crypto such as Ethereum to your Coinbase wallet. So first you want to open up your Coinbase wallet and you want to click on where it says receive. Then you want to select the cryptocurrency that you want to receive to your wallet. In this case, I'm going to choose Ethereum. You can choose whatever crypto you want. Next, I'm going to click on my address right here. It's going to say address copied. Then you want to open up crypto.com and click on where it says transfer. Next, you want to click on where it says withdraw. Then you want to click on where it says external wallet. Now we want to create a brand new wallet. So let's go ahead and click on the plus icon here. Now, in my case, I copied my Ethereum wallet address. So I'm going to go ahead and send Ethereum. Now, if you're sending Ethereum, you want to make sure that your network type is ERC20. If you're sending a different type of cryptocurrency, you just want to look up on Google what type of network that Coinbase wallet supports for that specific cryptocurrency. But you want to make sure that you double check and make sure that you're sending on the correct network. I'm going to go ahead and paste my wallet address right here. Next, I'm going to enter in a wallet name. So I'm just going to say, Coinbase wallets Ethereum like so and then I'm going to go ahead and click on continue and it might ask you to enable two-factor authentication on crypto.com so I'm going to go ahead and enable two-factor authentication once you're on the two-factor authentication screen go ahead and make sure that enable two-factor authentication is checked right here next we need to install Google Authenticator or a similar authenticator app now I personally like to use Authy I think this is the best authenticator app so go ahead and download whatever authenticator app you want. In this case, I'm going to choose Authy. Now, when you set up your Authy app, you want to go ahead and click on where it says add account. And now we need to either scan the QR code that we saw earlier, or we can enter a key manually. So I'm going to click on enter key manually and click on where we saw that copy button right here. It's going to say secret copied. Let's go ahead and enter in that secret key. And this process is going to be very similar if you're using Google Authenticator. So let's go ahead and click on where it says save. And now we should see our crypto.com authentication token. Let's go ahead and click on copy. Then let's click on where it says proceed to verify. We want to paste in that two-factor authentication code and then click on continue. And now it says that two-factor authentication has been successfully enabled. Let's go ahead and click on tap anywhere to continue. And now that we have done that, let's go ahead and click on continue. Now we need to paste in a two-factor authentication code. So just go back to your authenticator app and then click on where it says paste right here. Then click on continue. And now we want to go to the Coinbase wallet that we just added and click on withdraw. Now here we can enter in the amount that we want to withdraw. Now I would highly suggest you send a test amount first before you send a large amount of cryptocurrency, just in case you may have entered in the wrong address or you have selected the wrong network type. Yes, you will have to pay the gas fee, but that is a lot better than losing hundreds of dollars worth of Ethereum because you sent it to the wrong address or you selected the wrong network type. Once you have sent a test amount to verify this works, go ahead and enter in the amount of cryptocurrency you would like to send. And then all you have to do is click on withdraw. It might ask you for another two-factor authentication code, but once you do that, you should be able to send that cryptocurrency over to your Coinbase wallet. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please leave a like, but that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope this helped you out.